seaweed may seem a pretty drab subject, but when Kriya visited a seaweed farm in Zanzibar, she enjoyed an incredibly colourful experience, which she shared with us. A short flight brought Kriya to the group of islands just off the coast of Tanzania, where she explored the fascinating heritage of Stone Town, before discovering more about dows, spice and turtles. Ecotourism was the next item on her itinerary, and having travelled around the western, central and northern regions of Zanzibar, she decided to spend her last morning on the island's eastern coast. This time, Kriya was more than willing to sacrifice a late morning lion so that she could watch the sun rise over the Indian Ocean. I'm really not an early morning person, but mornings in Zanzibar mean beautiful sunrises like the one I just saw. I'm on the southeast side of the island in a small village near Paje to get to know the untouched side of the island as well as its conservation efforts. It's the sea that has always defined the destiny of the islands. The ocean was both a moat and a bridge between them and the African mainland, the Arabian Peninsula and the Indian subcontinent. And there's a bounty of marine resources. Jumbo! Jumbo! Mustafa! Today you are going to have a very great tour alongside with the mama learning about the seaweed farming. But look, your mamas look amazing. Oh. And I want to look just like your mamas. Can I get dressed up too? Oh yes. <laughs> Miss Mariam. All right. Do like these. Okay. It's a little sarong vibe going. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> you look amazing. Okay, fisherman hat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> How does the seaweed get from what we see in the ocean now yes. to what you use in your product? You have to dry it and you have to pound it and uh, you have to use it in the production by making uh, spine beauty products like a soap and berry scrub. Are there different kinds of seaweed? So we have two types of seaweed. This one is called the Ichema spinosum. You can eat it, the fresh seaweed. So when you eat salty. Uh, salty and very slimy. Mm. So when you eat seaweed, it has the good growth of your hair. It's shining your hair from getting flakes. I want to find out how do I actually harvest seaweed? First of all, you need uh, two sticks. Okay. And the other thing that we need is a nylon rope. The mama's already hard at work. I'm going to go see how it's done. Okay, you're welcome. All right, ladies. I want to see what is going on here. This is seagrass. So it's not very good for the seaweed and it doesn't really help the seaweed grow. So we've got to clean out all the seagrass and the seaweed. Am I doing it right? <laughs> I have a feeling that that looks a lot easier than it is. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, very good trick, okay. yes. In two months, these little seedlings are going to cover this whole area so you won't be able to see any sand in between. So grow my little seedlings. Grow! I don't have any green fingers. So I wish the fly and good luck. Now that the seaweed is harvested, let's go see how some of the final products are made. Here we are, so you go this way. Great, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Mariam, hi, how are you? I'm fine. Now I'm going to show you the production room. Then you're going to see what you're going to do by using seaweed. All right, well, let's go see it. The moment they drink here, they uh, make the bodies polish. After making there, we put here for putting into the tops. Heating uh -huh. oil with the beeswax, mm -hmm. that is ready for making soap. This is uh, the place where we're packing our soap. When it's ready coming from the curing room, we come through here and we put here and we put into the plastic before wrapping with the paper. What are some of the medical benefits of seaweed? The, that is good for the skin. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's antibacterial. What else can you make with the seaweed? We make also the seaweed juice, okay. which one you're going to have now, tasting, is delicious and it's antioxidant. It's very healthy, helpful. And when you drink the seaweed juice, you're coming more young. Ooh, yes. it's like the fountain of youth. <laughs> but who would have thought? <laughs> I want to go try it. <laughs>
Seaweed products now form the island's second biggest export and are also combined with cloves, coconuts and other local crops. Thank you very much, Miriam. Mmm, it's really good. It's quite interesting to see that all these different products can actually come from seaweed. I mean, I see it washed up on the beach and I'm like, oh, okay, it's seaweed. But I mean, we can make soaps, we can make body scrubs, and we can make really good juices. Mm, I'm feeling young already. After my visit to the seaweed farm, I'm feeling young and revitalized. So I thought I'd try something that Paji's famous for, surfing and kite surfing. I don't think I'm going to be very good at it, but I'm going to give it a try. Fortunately, Kriya had arranged for some expert advice from a surfing instructor. Right. Ready for this? Let's try. There you go. Okay, so just to start with the basics, you have your leg rope. Yep. Yeah, this is going to attach to your stronger leg. Okay. Yeah, right leg, left leg. Right leg. You'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Sounds a lot easier. <laughs> right, it'll be fine. We'll do a lot more in the water there, All huh? Right. Just a go. Shall we do this? Yeah. Surfing was such a thrill, a real adrenaline rush. Definitely going to be surfing more often and I'm coming to Zanzibar to do it. But I've worked up quite an appetite. I think it's time to find some food. Kriya had timed it to perfection and a seafood feast awaited her. Ali! Ah, how are you? This looks amazing. All this food is a uh, local food. Thank you very much, Thank Ali. You. This looks amazing. I can't Enjoy wait. Meal, please. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. It looks so good. Mmm. Mm, you can taste some creaminess. Definitely got a bit of coconut in there. Really, really good. It has been a busy but exciting day today. I got to go surfing, which I never thought I would do in my entire life. I got to see seaweed transformed into new products. And then I end my day with a dinner like this and a view oh, to die for. Absolutely beautiful. There's no better way to spend your time in Zanzibar than this. But for now, and from Pajay, I have to say, Kwaheri.